As we have already covered the introduction of Link along with the installation of Visual Studio, now we are good to start with the implementation. So in the coming practical, we will see how we can do the practical or how to write a basic query using Link. So here I am going to use a generic collection that is list class for making a collection and then we will see how to write a basic query using link. So let's start the practical implementation now. So for starting the implementation of link here I have already opened the visual studio and inside this I can take any type of project as link is an independent technology out here and you can integrate the link code with any kind of application like whether it's a console or web or windows application. So here in this example I'm going to take a website which I will create on HTTP with the name link demo. So let me give the name link demo and let's say OK. So it will create the web application for me. Now coming to Solution Explorer, I will just add one new web page inside it. Here I will choose web form and let's add with the default name that is default.aspx will come here in the design mode if you want you can take any of the data control out here like here you will get some controls which will help you to show the data but for now I will just come to this code file but for now I will just come to the code file that is the aspx.cs file and here I will write a sample code so here as you can see inside the page load first of all I have just passed an array of string type that is hello wonderful link beautiful word alright so this is just a sample string array inside which I have passed few strings now out of this array called words I want to get some short words means the word of length less than or equal to 5 so from here what you can do is you can simply say from word in words so basically this will be a variant type alright so one by one the elements from this collection that is the world alright as here you can use any particular collection which is implemented by i enumerable so here it's an array which is implemented by i enumerable and here what I'll do is I will just get the words one by one from words array to this variable to this anonymous variable word and here if condition is required if it is not required then I can just comment that and it will be like select words that will select all the words from this words array alright but here what I'll do I'll just make a vint, uh, filter using the where clause so where word dot length is less than or equal to 5 as word is of string type because you know initially it was anonymous type but as soon as it will get the first element from this array which is words alright and here it will get the string so as soon as it will get the first string it will become of string type so here it will return the string word maybe there are multiple words which are having length less than or equal to 5 so all those words will be returned to this short word which is nothing but the i enumerable means you can see it's a like a collection for this i enumerable string type all right now whatever the result will come it will be here in the short words so what i'll do i'll just read that out from you by using the for each loop so where word in short words all right and here inside what I'll do I'll just say response dot write you can just choose the different way for getting the el elements right depends on which particular uh, technology or which kind of application you're working on so here I'll just print the word and then I'll break the line so that the next word will come in a separate line all right so let's execute it and here you can find all those words who are less than 
or equal to 5 all right means the length of these words are less than or equal to 5 so this is how you can write a basic link statement where first of all you will execute from clause where you will tell the data source then from that particular data source you will get elements one by one in a variable out here of variant type and then you can select that particular one so depending on the type of collection the type of this variant type will be diagnosed and uh, here so depending on the data type of this particular collection the data type of this variant type will be decided and then here in the collection uh, condition as I said it is not mandatory if you want you can pass the conditions otherwise you can just select the complete record or some part of it as here it's just an array so I'll just collect all the information alright and then I will show that so this is how you can start writing a basic link statements in this ASP.NET application and as per your requirement you can use the very similar syntax in any different kind of application in Visual Studio